Real estate investing in the Philadelphia suburbs, is it possible? Can you do it? Have we done it? Well, I'm gonna show you all the different ways that we have helped people from house hacks, buying multifamily, selling multifamily, flipping, burying, rentals, all that stuff. I'm gonna show you all the different stuff we've done for people, or at least some of it, some examples, so you can understand what kind of investing works in the Philadelphia suburbs. You can see our track record, how we help people. Anyway, if investing in the Philadelphia suburbs is something you're serious about, I think you'll really like this video because we just dig into the meat and potatoes of it. I'm gonna go through the MLS listings, showing you the data, showing you the projects, before and after pictures. So if all that's interesting to you, stay tuned. Okay, you can see we're here in the bright MLS. So we're gonna go through um, a Burr property first that was bought in Westchester, Pennsylvania, 1233 Spring Valley. This was an on-market deal and you'll find a lot of our deals are done on market, but we do do some on off-market stuff, but a lot of what I'm gonna take you through today, well, I'll take you through a mix. Anyway, so here's the original purchase, 450. And here's some pictures, check it out. It wasn't a terrible rehab. This kitchen was kind of small, you know, flooring wasn't great, some old wallpaper, that kind of thing. This ended up being an $80,000 rehab and we rented it for $4,500 and also then $4,700. So this was a Burr property. We were able to refinance out our investment. And you can see here, this reappraised at $700, six months after we purchased it. I would say today it's worth about $750. So overall into the property for about 530 to 550 so we could say this is a 200k equity gain plus a cash flows so that's a really solid burr um, in a luxury rental I think the kitchen came out nice this is mine personally all right cool next let's look at this one 2727 Belmont <clears throat> So you can see, this was another on-market property. My colleague, Zach, purchased this one and flipped it. You can see, uh, not looking that great. A little bit rough inside, kitchen, eh, not so good. All right, so then he spent a few months flipping it. Let's see, here we go. Listed it for 500, started at 307, put about 90,000 into this. What a difference, right? Um, this one's under contract to close, but the profit of approximately is 65000 on this property. So great job, Zach. Zach's one of our teammates and uh, helps a lot of people buy investment properties and does it himself. So that's really awesome. All right, beautiful. Let's go next. Here's an example of a foreclosure purchase. So this was on the HUD Home Store. Purchased for 335000 Pretty interesting if you look at the um, the price history. So... Um, you can see they had it started at 450, dropped to 405, dropped it to 360. We went the next day, bid 325 in the HUD home store, and then um, it, we went to 335. We got accepted. Uh, we listed this for 499.9, ended up at 490 on the property. So very nice. Um, take a look at the before pictures. This was an $80,000 profit overall. So awesome job, Zach. Once again. Ooh. Not not terrible, but it, it needed work. You kind of can't even tell from the pictures. Here's after, all nicely staged and beautiful. So yeah, you can see, easy flip out in Avondale, Pennsylvania. You know, one thing people say is that you can't do on-market deals, but you can definitely do good on-market deals. This is another Burr property a client did, and this is back in 2019. So I got licensed in 2017. This is pretty early in my career, actually. And this house was purchased for 250. But again, let's look at the price history here. You can see that they had it up for 320,000, and we're having difficulty selling it. We bid 70,000 above asking, and we're able to get the property. So you never know till you bid. Um, I don't wildly bid under on people all the time, but. You know, you can see here, there's me, um, the purchasing agent. He ended up fixing this up. I mean, I would estimate this house to be valued in the ballpark of like 550 right now, something in that range. Nice neighborhood, good split level home, good size yard. Uh, needed a septic repair, but he did a good job with that. And yeah, definitely made some good money on that one. Let's check out 
a house hack. I would call this a live-in flip. This was in 3 William Davis Court in Newark, Delaware. So this one we bought for $390. The neighbor has just sold their house for $727. You can see he closed in April of 2023. Today's date is October 15th, 2024. So big house uh, you don't see pictures inside there's actually some videos of this on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out but it was really rough inside <laughs> looked like some people had just been partying a little hard in there let's just say um, but he did a lot of really great renovations to this and so you know I put his value between 650 and 7 so probably 100 to 150 uh, K gain uh, on this house when he goes to sell it so nice live and flip there in Newark Delaware Okay, let's talk about 147 Ascot. So we sold this one June 2024 for 295,000. This was a rental property, it was rented out for one year. Purchase price originally on this was 163, I believe. That's not what I wanted. <clears throat> it was 163. It shows it was 120. There was a wholesale fee on top of this. So this was purchased from a wholesaler for 163. I believe he put Forty to fifty thousand dollars into it, um, and then sold it for two ninety five. So I would say, after all his closing costs and other things, probably a profit of around eighty thousand. Let's check out another one in Westchester, six hundred five West Market. <clears throat> Purchased this for one hundred and seventy-five thousand. It was on the market for one day. We went through, and it was a little banged up, of course. Um, Laura Sides flipped this bad boy quick. She's awesome. You can follow her at Sides Investing on Instagram, and she turned around and sold this for three hundred and five thousand. As you can see, she did an awesome job. And made about $100,000. Really great flip in Westchester. It's funny, people are always like, you can't invest in Westchester, you can't make money. But here's another example of a client that did. Okay, so I showed you the receipts. Now you gotta give me a call if you wanna do this. <laughs> My contact information is gonna be down below. I'm Rob Lawrence with the Rob Lawrence team at VRA Realty based out of Westchester, Pennsylvania. I invest myself and my team invests and we help people invest. So if that's something that's interesting to you. We also run a real estate investor meetup second Wednesday every month here in Westchester. Love to have you come out. Um, you can check that out on meetup.com. If you search meetup VRA Realty, you'll find that as well and I'll put the link down below. All right, guys, any other questions, let me know. Feel free to reach out, and girls. <laughs> I'll see you later.